Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of the Rise of the Ronin. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be doing some side questing. But before we do anything, a little disclaimer. I went over to here uh the longhouse i seen a dog out front and i thought oh cool it'll let me interact with it i can pet a dog and apparently it's something uh to do with like the online play or something like that it said send the dog to different shrines and i could give it money and eventually it'll come back over here to the longhouse and i'll be able to get some rewards for it so I apologize, I did not know that that was going to be a thing. Um, and yeah, oh, one other thing before I forget about it. Let's do our first photograph. I'm thinking over here. On a sunny day, take a photograph of the, of the foreign ships in Yokohama Bay from the Watchtower. So I think today is sunny. Um, or not. Yeah, it's, it's not a sunny day. So we'll get a morning or maybe noon. Still not a sunny day. Or is it? Maybe it just looks foggy. Yeah, okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, cool. We can earn um, rewards. So now that we got our first photograph out of the way... We have finished up this area. And I actually have finished up quite a bit of stuff here. The uh, only thing I really haven't done is this fugitive, which I should go ahead and do that. Um, and a couple of other things. But for the most part, I ran all through here, got a bunch of the stuff done. If we zoom out, you can see that... I pretty much have all of Yokohama done, except for a few of these locations up here. I'm just going to do that off uh, recording, just to make things uh, play a little smoother. Let's go ahead and fast travel back over here and go do this side quest. It says, give a foreign book to the one guy. I cannot pronounce his name. I apologize. How are you faring? Oh, so you've got a camera, it seems. I want as you got it from Igashichi. Am I right? The thing is, I've got more work than I can handle. So many people want pictures taken. And that's where I was hoping you could help. Would you mind taking some photographs for me? You will be rewarded. Don't worry about that. Did you manage to take the pictures I asked you to? Oh, that'll give us some silver coins. Cool. Okay. Yeah, definitely want to be taking photos. Okay. So, again, I'll do this stuff off uh, recording. I look forward to seeing how you fare. Or maybe I won't do that off recording. Maybe we'll do that together. We'll see. Have you been making good use of my gadgets? 
Sure have. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Now, I wonder if you've ever chanced upon any foreign books. As our nation has opened up, there are more and more of them in circulation. It seems there are many tomes about Western technology and weaponry. I'd love to find them, but I'm far too busy inventing. I know! Why don't you search for books for me? Come on, what do you say? They'll no doubt help me improve my tinkering skills. Let's see what he can do. Foreign books. Okay. Yeah, I've already collected quite a few books. Allows you to invent a fire pipe. Cool. What would you like me to work on? Essentially, we get a flamethrower. That's awesome. A detector. What would you like me to work on? Oh, hold on. Do you have a moment? I have a little problem that needs solving. Mind if I pick your brains a little? Sure, bud. Um, I don't mind. No, don't be like that. Just hear me out first. The fate of the tinkerer hangs in the balance. So, some officials barged in the other day, demanding that I invent some mechanisms that could be utilized for combat. Of course, I do have some experience in designing tools for clients, but only for those I trust. And these men, I did not. As you'd expect, I refused. So they demanded I hand over some of my inventions, lest I be dragged off and beheaded. Which is when it came to me, the perfect scheme to get one over on them. However, the plan requires some assistance. Please, can I count on you? Um... Sure, I'll do it. Truly? I owe you one. I know this is sudden, but can you come to my hidden storehouse with me? I've left some tools there. Come on. All right, let's be off. Hold it, Isg. Where do you think you're going? Oh, um, just going to pick up some materials. <laughs> you are not fooling anyone, pal. How about I help you concentrate on your work? Um, I can take care of these guys. Of course, they're barely a threat to you, but do it quickly, please. Thought you could weasel your way out of his bodyguard. I'm putting you down here, and now. Man, I'm getting my butt kicked. Honestly, since I can't go anywhere alone anymore, I really appreciate you agreeing to help. This way, follow me. I do have a new horse. The Shogunate obviously wants an advantage over its enemies. 
but I'd thank them not to drag me into their bloody mess. Also, real fast, if you look at the bottom left corner, I am level 14, mainly because I have traveled all around and got a bunch of stuff, so it helped me level up naturally. I keep my inventions at my secret storehouse. <laughs> inventions, I say, but it's mostly useless junk. Come on now! <laughs> Jeez, this guy is all over the road. Really hard to follow this guy. They've served to fool that official for a while, and passed off as works in progress. But he's starting to suspect. If this plan doesn't work, well, I think up another one. But with you coming along, I'm sure all will be well. Not far now. Fortunately, I've got something handy on me. Come on, over here. Why don't you try using this? I made it using a Western clockwork mechanism. It takes in sounds from the surroundings and expresses them visually. It's only a prototype, but you should be able to make good use of it. Um, you're going to just give this to me? It's all yours, provided this experiment goes to plan. If we don't make it to the storehouse, my scheme will be up in smoke. Um, I know you just told me what it's for, but what's it for? Well... It should allow you to detect foes in hiding or even through solid walls. I'll hide here until it's over. Use my new device well, and you're bound to have the upper hand. So essentially, it just shows us the position of all the enemies. Oh, and I did get a pistol. Oop. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know I was going to shoot. So, sorry. Uh. Let's see how this thing works. Huh. This is where the bastard keeps his toys. Ah. <laughs> 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 Didn't realize there was a guy back there. Ooh. What? That was really weird. He's right behind him. I press triangle. Oh, great. <laughs> we might be fighting again. Uh. 
I mean, I don't mind. It's just I'm trying to be stealthy. Is there another way to get around here? going to be interesting getting past these two guys. <laughs> I guess it's not going to be that hard getting past this guy. Missed one more enemy. Oh, there he is. Okay, seems like we got them all. Looks like the way is clear. Now we can enter the storehouse. Did you sound very sinister? for your help and certainly not with this junk but if you see anything you like it's all yours find a gift of thanks ah you want to use the fire pipe it's a little dangerous but all right let's step outside and try it okay Hold L2 to ready it, R2 to spray. Yeah, essentially a flamethrower. Do I even have it equipped? Oh, yeah, it equipped itself. Right. Cool. Go ahead and fire the pipe at the barrel over there. Just to make sure to keep your distance. <laughs> nice. Hey, it's like someone's still here. Might as well team. Oh, shit. Yes, Oh, I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm out of ammunition. I wasn't ready. Hold on. Stop killing me for a second. Is that everybody? Fine work! Looks like you frightened off the rest of them. I'll leave the fire pipe to you, along with the figuring out how to use it. Now we have all the tools we need. The next step is to contact Yukichi Fukuzawa to help as well, and go over the plan with him. Um... Why do you need him? Fukuzawa's knowledge is vital. He doubles in Western medicine and is an expert on chemicals as well. Right. Let's split up for now. I'll get Fukuzawa up to speed in the meantime, but let's meet again soon. Personal development. You'll find people throughout this world of turmoil who harbor strong desires and ambitions. Help them out by completing bond missions to develop their abilities. Completing a string of bond missions for certain characters may earn you special equipment. Awesome. So he's friendly towards us now. Um, There was another side mission or two 
that I remember seeing. Aha. Bad Bunch. The Black Jewel. The Stolen Statue. Okay, so also, real fast, I seen that there was horseback archery and I believe, yep, firearm training. And then there was one other thing. Where is it at? I know it was around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. And the gliding training. We're going to go ahead and do that stuff real quick just to try it out. I'm not going to try to go for 100%. If we get 100% or something, um, great. But I'm guessing that it's like most games where you get enough targets hit or you hit them in the bullseye or something like that. Or you get a bullseye. Hit them in the bullseye. What the fuck are you talking about, Mr. Wayne? Uh, you get a bullseye. You get more points or something like that. Please, stay away. That is a very fine steed you have there. Pray, would you like to try some horseback archery? Um, tell me about horseback archery first. Horseback archery is the ancient art of shooting arrows at a target while riding atop a horse. Although some will tell you it is incredibly old fashioned, I believe it to be an indispensable tool for refining one's etiquette. I do hope you will devote the time to mastering this important art. Sure, I'll give it a try. But first, who are you? My name is Kiyokane Ogasawara. As the name would suggest, I instruct others in the Ogasawara style of archery. I believe the art of horseback archery is an excellent teacher of the true samurai spirit. As such, I make it a point to occasionally recruit new students from those I meet. Okay, well, let's try out some horseback archery. Then let me be your guide. Please, this way. Okay. So we gotta get a direct hit, and yep. So it's not like 100%. I guess we're going off of points. So 9,000 points. That seems like a lot. Don't think we're going to get the this the first try. Oh man, I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm nervous. Can I hit it from way down here? No. Oh, awesome. Sweet. Did we get all the targets? I'm pretty sure we did. Horseback hero. Nice. Hell yeah. First try. That couldn't have went any better. Marvelous technique. It is as if you are one with your horse. So I guess we can get a bond with this guy too. That's pretty cool. I like that. I bet the shooting is going to be much, much harder though. Where's the guy? There he is. However good your gun, you might as well be wielding a club if you can't hit anything. How about a bit of training? Um, before anything, 
Tell me about the firearm training first. You get points for hitting targets. Easy enough, right? There are different types of target. To maximize your points, pick your targets carefully and think about your positioning. Alright, well, let's do some training then. Alright, let's see what you've got. Penetrate through wooden targets, cool, but not metal targets. Seven thousand points. That's less to, than uh, the horseback. All right, let's give it a try. This is super easy, yo. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Firearm genius. Alright, we did pretty good on both of these. You're quite the shot, huh? Consider me impressed. Cool, foreign book. Now, where was the flight or the gliding training over here? Welcome. You can practice gliding here. Why don't you give it a try? Um, tell me about gliding first. You have to destroy targets while gliding to your destination. You'll be scored on time taken to arrive and number of targets destroyed. I was asked to test the Avicria's performance by a certain inventor. I suppose the fastest way to find out is just to do it. Sure, why not give it a shot? Okay. I'll get things ready. Okay, looks like we're going to be flying through things. Hopefully not shooting things while flying. Okay, this that was almost impossible to get. I'm going to fall to my doom here in a second. We definitely did not succeed in this one. Flying's hard. <laughs> so I'll I will get that off um, recording. Or yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do it off recording. I was gonna give it another shot, but it's like, eh. I'll go for it later. Good job. Did you get a good fear for riding the winds? Okay, so now where to? Right here. We'll go to this guy and then this guy and then over here, the stolen statue. 
So fast travel right here. Er, that's dumb, but whatever. We'll just do this one first, I suppose. Are you a samurai? You must help me. For an appropriate reward, of course. Though you might not think it to look at me. I have plenty of coin. Believe me. I'm a merchant from Great Britain. Now, I recently located some coal in the cave over there. But as soon as I had, a band of brigands popped out of the woodwork and stripped me of everything I had. They're still in there. Now! I won't stand for it. I won't let them have my coal, my possessions, or my blasted clothes. Pray, could you go into the cave and fetch them for me? Sure, I'll help you out. Much obliged. I'm not going to worry about those guys. We're going to focus on our side quests. Oop. There's one bandit already. <laughs> oh. I need to switch back to my pistol. I just noticed that this was still on. Let's lock it. And then use this revolver. I actually have not even played with the revolver yet. I just have it at the moment. Oh, there's a guy right there. Is he going to see the guy in the bushes? Yeah, turn around, bud. Oh, come on. That's twice. Some nonsense like that has happened. Where's this guy's coal at? Who's back in there? Oh, look at you. Am I just supposed to mine the coal? Okay, so yeah. Just coming up here and grabbing coal off of it like that. you way over there well, they're not even hurting me really I'm definitely over leveled for this extremely over leveled
those frames dipped pretty bad there. Am I going the wrong way? Okay, I was like, man, what's going on here? It's been emptied. God, of all the... Those, those wretched brutes! Ah, I forget myself. Allow me to thank you. My name is Marcus Samuel, and you have my heartfelt gratitude. I had hoped to reward you here and now, but I'm afraid those thieves have made that impossible. Would you be willing to come and see me at Yokohama Grand Villa? You'll be generously remunerated, I assure you. I really am telling you the truth, you know. Uh, well, I never doubted you for a second. I will see you there. Oh, good. Good. Then I await your visit. Marcus Samuel has a first name as a last name, or a last name as a first name? I don't know. <laughs> it sounds really weird. How about that? Okay, let's go to one. We leveled up. We're level 15. That's awesome. We're kind of far. We'll call our horse. I think this horse is absolutely gorgeous. Fuck off, pig. Curse him. He needs to be taught a lesson. Hey, you. You look like trouble. You might be just who I'm looking for. Rough someone up for me. And I'll make it worth your while. You interested? Um, sure. Tell me more about what you want me to do. There's this real piece of work who swindled me out of some money. I saw him hanging around the waste ground up ahead. Come on, go and rough him up, will you? I'll make it worth your while. All right, I'll do it. Much obliged. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> Guy seems pretty shady. Uh, you! Hey, didn't we fight this guy before? Wasn't he the bandit leader? Um, someone with a grudge asked me to help them out. Oh, I read that totally wrong. Someone with a grudge against you asked me to help them out. Hey, you've got it all wrong. It isn't my fault. I'm innocent, I tell you. That's why you let me go before. Or is it? You had a reason for letting me live. So why not team up with me? I, I promise you won't regret it. Um. Ooh, this is a hard decision. All right, let's team up. But if you're tricking me, I'm going to take you down. 
that's great. After all, we are old friends by now. Let's do this. Oh shit. Oi, you're trying to pull a fast one? You're gonna pay for this. Going to be beaten by that pitiful wretch. Even still, you are incredible. Where'd you learn to fight like that? Give me a shout if something big comes along. Or come frying. You can count on it. Awesome. Cool. Gonzo is somebody that we can chat with. Where was the other one? Right here? I think that we're close enough we can just run to it. Is this water too deep? Uh, seems like it. Of course, won't go through it. Hey, this is what I was talking about. Huh. Pilgrim dogs. Yeah, it was talking about um, different pilgrim dogs that we could find. That was what was outside of the long house that I pet. I was like, cool, a dog. I can actually pet dogs instead of just cats. And then that popped up. Excuse me, good warrior, but I'd like to ask you something, if you'd listen. Sure, I'll listen to you for a bit. Ah, you hear my plea? Thank you, friend. We've had a wooden figure stolen. A precious one that's enshrined here. I have an inkling who the thief is, and I believe he's nearby. Alas... I'm just a weak and powerless priest. Would you be so kind as to recover the wooden figure for me? What kind of figurine is it? It's a figure of Sugawara no Michizane, who is deified as Tenjin, god of learning. From scholarly pursuits to martial and performance arts, he presides over all fields. Many samurai visit our shrine for his blessings, and some of them are quite distinguished. It's a fine thing indeed. Well, if that's the case, I'll be sure to find that figurine. You leave it to me. Ah, I'm in your debt. Now, to tell you about the thief. I suspect that it's a thug who's recently targeted this area. Night would be the best time to go after him, when he's drunk and rowdy. During the day, he preys on hapless passers-by, 
Do be careful. We'll uh, go over here and do this real quick. We got this region up to level three. Ooh. Okay. Hey! That looks like he might be worth something. Hand it over if you want to live. Money I can keep, but this statue is irreplaceable. Can I not get up there? Maybe over here from the rock. <laughs> You're going to come right over to me, aren't you, bud? Thank you. I need to get going, so if you'll excuse me. Wait, why did you steal the figurine? So you want the figure too? In that case, let me explain my reasons. My village is poor, so poor bandits ignore us, and it's been ravaged by disease. We sought help from those nearby. But no one will lift her finger. At this rate, our village will die out. If I could just bring back this blessed image of Tenjin, it would give comfort to those at their store. Please, won't you look the other way? Um... I'm sure the priest will help you. Just have some faith. Faith? After everything that's happened, you expect me to have faith? Don't you have any pity for the dying? <sighs> I give up. No matter what I do, my village is already beyond saving. Please return the figure to the priest and tell him I'm sorry. That kind of sucks. I don't know if that was a good thing to do.
Would have liked to be able to give him some money or something. That would have been nice to have an option like that. Like, I, I feel bad, but it's like... Uh, how much is a figure going to do for the people that are dying? I mean, sure, give them some comfort, but... It's not going to heal them. Thank you. I'm glad to see the statue of Tenjin Sama has been recovered. So that's what it was for. I see. Very well. I'll speak to His Excellency about sending aids to the village. Ah, Tenjin Sama works in mysterious ways. Cool, so maybe the monk will go help him. Okay, additional bond. Let's see, do we have any more side quests? I couldn't do this. I guess what we could do is come over here. It's almost night, or we can turn it night. And we can take care of that fugitive. Didn't mean to do that. Should have stepped away from the veiled um, thing. Let's turn it night. And then right over here. Ooh, we can glide over there. That's right. Take out this fugitive. Oh, that did a ton of damage to you, bud. Come on. Alright. That was bad on my part. <laughs> I'm sorry, that should be funny, but that's hilarious. Uh, so now we have all of this done. We essentially have just about everything done except for the photograph over here. Actually, quite a few photographs. Um, Yeah, I don't see any more side quests. This, I don't know. It says proceed with the mission. So I don't know. Maybe what we'll do is we'll come over here to the pleasure district. And we'll do that quest. Or actually, it's already 50 minutes into the video. So maybe we'll stop when we're right over here at the Pleasure District. No, we'll uh, at least go over here and see what she wants. Please, this way. Well, I see you've acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. Um, I want to take pictures of you. It isn't me I wish you to photograph, <laughs> but as you like. All right. <laughs> Let's do the damn thing. Then I shall direct you to a number of rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs. Central room, upstairs. Oh. 
down here. Are you serious? You'll be seeing him again. I don't care about his clown. How important he is. <laughs> oh dear. Jealous, are you? Up top. I have a feeling that this lady is a spy or something. At least that's what it seems like. I could be totally wrong. How the hell do I get over there? Here. It's something like this. I am so confused. So I paid her a visit. And then further up. Oh, I could have got up here from there. Stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Huh? Hey, hey. This isn't good. I get caught, I yeah, she's definitely like a spy or something for the government. Trying to crack down on maybe. I don't know if the Yakuza was around in the. I think it's 1856. Very possible. the money very soon then I'll pay up and you and me can you know ah oh, that's wonderful to hear but how do you get the money okay where's she at over here Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He is rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Uh, what do you mean by intimidating? Well, when I met him earlier, he stared at me quite frightfully. But please, forget I said anything. Alright, well you can leave it to me. I'll take care of him. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. If you have any ideas, speak up. The consulate is very well guarded. They can't attack from the front. Well, how about a diversion? We start the scuffle at the front, then sneak in from the side. 
でしたら。Did you get your picture? Huh? Who are you? Come to the garden now. Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate. Aren't you? I'll cut you down. Oh, I'm not even. I really don't want to kill this guy because I don't feel like he's a bad dude. Come on, this is too easy. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. <laughs> Falling asleep. Well, well, look who it is. What、uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Shoin. Katsura here is an old student, a close friend of his. <laughs> This guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. <laughs> oh, Ryoma! I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. <clears throat> All right, back to the drinks. Next round on me. <laughs> I came to see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Thank you. What a wonderful picture! I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Ah,、oh, yes, the samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. 
They say that Samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. A demon's claw, you say? I cannot imagine. It certainly doesn't sound natural. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, please enjoy your time here. Okay, cool. Hey! So we don't want to start the next mission. So what we're going to do is we're going to end here. This video actually dragged on a little longer than I thought it was going to. I didn't think that mission was going to be that long. But that's okay. Um, when we come back later on, we will, or in the next video, not later on, but in the next video, when we come back, we'll start the next main quest, and we'll see how far, how far we can get with that. So, with all that being said, I'd like to start with telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.